Hey guys, Party Nerdy Girl here and welcome back to the channel. I am here with episode 4 of Minecraft Story Mode. This is very exciting for me. I can't wait to jump in and test out the new episode. It's gonna be great. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Oh man, we are jumping straight back into the action, guys. Where am I? What's going on? What is all this? Yeah, we need to adjust. We'll deal with we'll deal with, the, with this later. Come on. I'm gonna get you out of here. What? Who are you? He's gonna make this Jesse, difficult. Jesse, where are you? Ah! Ah! And I paused it. I don't know how I did that. Say something, Jesse! We're over here! We're over here! No way, no way! You found Gabriel? Who's Gabriel? Yeah, about that. He is broken. We need to get out of here now! This way! Oh Jesse, gosh. you made it! And Gabriel? Did you say Gabriel? Look out! Oh! 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 Don't look at them! Don't look at them in the eye. Those Endermen are running the wrong way! They'll be killed! Soren? I can't stand by and watch! I what are you doing? Them to death. Soren, what do you think you're doing? These Endermen are running directly into danger. You're putting us in danger every second you just stand there. Oh. Even Jesse, the spiders are like, we need that GTFO. Oh. Axel, you gotta move faster. She's too sick. This is the best we can do. They're not gonna be able to outrun it. Not on foot. We gotta find a way to move faster. We're all gonna be uh, caught in the tractor beam. We have to help them. We I don't know how. We need to get them moving faster. The horses! Oh my god, get the horses! The horses! Bingo! Everybody, get on! We got this. We'll take the reins, and they can just hang on. I've got, I've Petra. got Petra. Then I'll take Gabriel. Hold on. This might be a bumpy ride. Oh, God. We're going to have some dodging to do. Oh. Come on, horses. Whatever you do, don't look Run, mobs. Run. Ah. Run for your lives! Everyone, everything in this world is like, nah, not we to go. This is Jesse, the worst look ride out. of my life. Axel, stop backseat oh. steering. Can't help it. I'm getting horse sick. Ah. Oh. Oh, why do we gotta fight the skeleton? Who? It's thought it would be smart to no offense, ride a you spider. Can use a little practice. First time on a horse here. Oh no. Watch it! Oh god. You try to knock me off this thing, Jesse? Sorry. Okay, we tried to make that smooth. Oh, poor spider. Oh goodness. Why do I always Gaining, but it's all I can do to hold on. <gasps> oh, it is right above us. Oh, no. Oh, goodness. Oh. Did we die? We died. And first death of the episode. Yes. 
All right, guys, let's try this again. It's gaining, but it's all I can do to hold on. I was not prepared for it to be like letter arrow, letter arrow. All right, here we go, guys. Down. Yes. Two. Yes. Right. Left. Yes. Right. Oh goodness. Barely missed that one. Oh, Q, 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 Q. Yeah, yes. We need to enter a horse riding competition after this. Oh, he, he's got a weapon. Oh, and that bridge. Is, uh, oh no! Jesse, look out! Endermen are like, no, F you, son. Guys, come we on. rule this place. Like right now. Come on, Lester. We need more blocks. I got some. Yeah. Wish you could see the level of excitement on my end, guys. Yeehaw! Woo! Oh, Axel, you're screaming in my ear. Sorry. So all we need to do is bring all of the Endermen from the end into the overworld and let we them just beat the living crap it. out of the Wither Storm. Okay, Listen, we got this Gabriel then. Gabriel was saying some pretty weird stuff back on that horse. He might have Wither Sickness. I don't know. You never acted the way he's been acting. I'll go talk to him. Hey, how are you feeling? I'm afraid I don't feel much like myself at the moment. Gabriel, it really is you! Oh, I knew if anybody could outrun death, it would be you. Uh, who are you people? It's me, Eligard. Come on. Old friend, don't you recognize us? No. It's Soren. We've known each other for a very long time. The Witherstorm did something to him. You mean that thing we just rode on? No. That was a horse. <sighs> what a terrible turn of events. You! You're the one who rescued me! Tell me, please, what is going on? I remember only blackness. And then, suddenly you were there. You were caught in the wither storm. Trapped. For how long? Long enough that it did this to you. It felt like an eternity. He went insane. It was dark and foul, and I was sure I was a goner. Well, I don't remember his eyes being red before. You made it back alive, which is more than I can say for some of us. Oh, Magnus, for a second there, I almost managed to forget. You guys talking about Magnus? I still can't believe he's gone. I still can't believe somebody died in this video How? game. How could this have happened? To lose not just a friend, but a member of the Order of the Stone! Guys, it was my fault. I'm the one who took Magnus's armor. But you couldn't have known what was going to happen. She's right. You can't blame yourself, Jesse. Mm, I'm surprised he lasted as long as he did. <laughs> I mean, he was the blow everything up guy. The emotional is getting us nowhere. What I want to know is what happened out there today. Why is that thing still alive? My instructions were simple. You were the one in the middle of everything. What went wrong? The Fermita bomb just wasn't strong enough. I mean, it ripped the Witherstorm apart, but it didn't make a dent in the command block. So the command block is still out there? Of course it is. Oh, great. Now, to make matters worse, we've gone from one wither storm to three! Our plan was a total failure! I should have cast the foul thing into the abyss. Why didn't I destroy that cursed block ages ago? Look, our plan didn't work, so we obviously need a new one. The question is, what do we do? Oh, why are you asking me? Am I expected to know every last thing in the universe? It, I think uh, it was a rhetorical I question for everyone. I need a moment to think. 
Is he always like this? You have no idea. <laughs> That's adorable. That jacket. I recognize it. Lucas always wears that jacket. No. There were other people wearing that very same jacket when I was thrown from the monster. Ugh. It hurts just to think about. Just put it out of your mind. Jesse, if what Gabriel said is true... I mean, do you think? I thought for sure they were gone, but if they were just trapped in the wither storm... You realize there's a strong chance that Gabriel is totally confused? But what if he's not? Listen, if my friends are alive, I've got to go after them. They might need me, Jesse. Whoa. I suddenly feel really dizzy. Easy, easy. I got gotcha. you. Oh, no. Okay. First we talk to Ribbon. Hey, buddy. You doing okay? Oh, he's shaking. Of course you are. Wish I could say the same for everyone else. Okay. Let's... Let's talk to Lucas. See what he's doing. Gravel? No. Dirt? Don't think so. Lucas, what are you doing? I told you. I'm going after my friends. I thought the other ocelots were dead. But if they're not, I need to go find them. Look, I am grateful to you guys for bringing me this far. But I can't leave them alone out there. Not with three wither storms raging. Oh, I've I didn't select try, anything. Jesse. Otherwise, I just couldn't live with myself. Lucas. Look, you and me, we've made a pretty good team so far. I'd even call us friends. So I hope you'll understand why I need to go help my old friends. Yeah, we they do. They do it for me. Same way you'd go back for any of your friends. I can't believe I'm saying this, but if your heart's telling you to go, then you gotta go. Otherwise, you'd be heartless or something. <laughs> Thank you, Jesse. I'll find them. And then I'll find you again, too. I promise. No, Thanks. you'll probably die. You're pretty useless, dude. I'm gonna regret that decision later, but he's like the flakiest of the entire group, so I mean, that's good. All right, let's talk to Petra. Now, let's see how she's holding up. I don't think very well. Petra, how are you doing? Hey, are you feeling any better? Better is relative. If I just sit here and don't move or breathe, it's almost bearable. Man. If it wasn't for Ivor, she wouldn't even be like this. Ah, no kidding. That's not exactly true. Ivor built the Wither, sure, but he couldn't have done it without that skull I gave him. But if I'd just taken a second to think about it, all I cared about was getting that stupid diamond. There's no way you could have known what would happen. Nobody's ever seen anything like this. Still. I'm gonna do everything I can to make this right. Petra, I know this isn't easy to hear, but you're too sick to be going anywhere. I'm not that sick. Um, Maybe you should rest in this cave for a while. I mean, it's safe, defensible. If I say I'm fine, then I'm <coughs> fine. If you try to keep going, I'm afraid you're not gonna make it. No, no way. I'm not a quitter. We're not saying you are. You staying here is the right move. You'll never get better if we keep pushing you. But I want to be there for you guys. I know you do. And you will. Maybe you're right. It's the right call, Jesse. I hope so. Now I kind of regret letting Lucas go, but... Honestly, like, she was holding us back. Not gonna lie. But we've dealt with worse, right? Have we? How's it going? Tell me, Jesse, who is this person? She keeps insulting me. Mm. One minute I think I'm talking to a friend, the next I'm being made fun of. That right there is Eligard. Ellie to you. Eligard, hmm? And how do I know her exactly? I like how we have a history, but 
I feel I need a little reminder. I like how you only trust members of her the because of she the saved stone. him. And what's that? Oh, well. The Order of the Stone? It's the greatest band of heroes ever assembled. Really? Really? You go way hey, hey, back. It isn't working. He doesn't remember anything. Talk yeah. to him about your past. Something only you would know about. Hmm. Like what? How would we know? We haven't seen each other for so long. I don't know what would even help. Tell him more about the Order. Who you guys were. How you got together. Anything. Well, we came together because we loved adventure. And we split apart because... It doesn't matter now. But in between, we did some amazing things together. Amazing, I tell you. We used to think we were invincible. And perhaps we were. Thank you for sharing that with me. And Jesse, thank you too. You've been a big help here. I, uh, I need to repay your kindness. I'm not sure how exactly. But I want to express my gratitude. It's no problem. I'd have done it for anyone. All the same, you have my thanks. Now then, tell me more about this Order of the Stone. Oh, I'm not even sure where to start. <laughs> oh, sorry, Reuben. I don't really feel like company. <laughs> Reuben! <gasps> Not again. Oh, we're going to have to chase after him. <sighs> okay, well, before we go ahead and head out, I think this is going to be a good place for us to stop for right now. Uh, so to wrap this up, we let Lucas leave, and now we're leaving behind Petra, which I really hope doesn't end up getting her killed uh, later on down the road. And we've got Elgard trying to help remind Gabriel of the good old days. So hopefully in the next episode we can figure out a way to get things accomplished. I feel like we didn't really do much in this episode so I apologize if this was kind of boring content but that being said I will see you guys in the next part. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you guys all later. Bye!